Anybody else collected dump trucks and GI Joes? I collected junk mail. And I take it and I save it and I read it over. My parents were like, oh my God, we failed. Instead of playing with dump trucks and GI Joes, our son saves the junk mail and reads it over. Where did we go wrong? That's a true story, man. My dad hates salespeople. Hates the freaking internet. Every time I go on, I gotta listen to it nonsense. I can't understand why anyone would buy anything over the internet. I'll tell you this, I ain't spending my credit card over no internet. <laughs> so this is how I grew up. Now you know how come I'm a little strange. You know, we have people in this room that I'm great, tremendous admirers of. Some of them were actually my students and actually now probably do better at marketing than I do. Truth of God's story. Because they, maybe they aren't born marketers, but you know, have you met those people that just everything they touch turns to gold? Have you ever met those kind of people? And you like ask them, how do you run your business? And they're like, oh, it's so easy. You know, I just follow this 49 step plan and everything just falls together or, you know, or whatever. And I'm like, oh yeah? Well, I can't freaking do that. Because, you know, I, let me tell you, when I was in the seventh grade, you ever see those mirror balls that puts the sparkles all over the, the, the ceilings? In it? Man, I wanted one of those mirror balls so freaking bad. And this was in band. And if you could just sell more magazines than everybody else, you could own that mirror ball. And I had to have it. God, I wanted that mirror ball more than anything in life. So I'm out pounding on the freaking doors. Any of y'all ever been in direct sales and made the cold calls by phone or pounded on doors or any of that crap? Well, that's a hard way to make a living. I got to tell you, I admire David for being, because my experience was exact opposite. You know, I worked like 80 hours a week, pounded on 1,800 doors and couldn't get one presentation. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there trying to earn my mirror ball. I'm knocking on doors. I'm pounding on. Hi, would you like to buy some? <laughs> Hello, I got magas. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I was like a disease at their door. Last thing they were ever going to do was talk to me, let alone buy a magazine. Now, of course, I was six, four and a half and weighed 100 pounds or 120 pounds. No wonder I didn't have a girlfriend. My parents were really worried.